Hey y'all, welcome back to the Bookstamp. I'm Kate and today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my parents' bookshelves. Um, so I filmed this actually a while ago at my parents' house and I just like totally forgot to film an intro or anything. So I will go ahead and let the footage roll. All right, so we are going to start with some of the books sort of just randomly under the coffee table downstairs. And these are the first books we'll find. So first we have, I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness, which my parents have had since 2018. Have either of my parents read this book? No, but they did buy it before. So I, you know, I don't know, I might steal this one to read myself. Okay, so I did totally just roast my parents, but in all truth and fairness, my mom did finish I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness, and she passed the copy along to me the last time I was there. So I do want to be truthful and give her credit where credit is due. What else do we have under here? Random Thriller number one, courtesy of my mom. Random Thriller number two. And then if we go to this like side table over here, which is like in a reading nook, we have James Patterson, random thriller number three, and random thriller number four. Uh, my mom clearly likes her mystery thrillers. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but she also, my mom also has this other book that she got from like the local little library in Kingston and she was so sad because it was like two romance books and she thought they were going to be mysteries and like from the title like mom it was clearly a romance book it was so funny we were making fun of her in transition we are now moving to my dad's office so these i'm just going to do this way because it's so much easier i'm not going to pull out every book but we have all of these field guides so this is field guide to the night sky there's so we have trees, wildflowers, fishes, and the sky. The birds one is upstairs because that's the one they use the most often. We have just a general coffee table chemistry book. Things of interest, we have Sons of Origin of Marvel Comics. So my dad has a lot of these like big comics collections. We have guitar <laughs> for the Musically Hopeless, which I inherited that gene. Um, a Cub Scout book. Down here we have some more comic books, bring on the bad guys. A Chattanooga history book, which is where I grew up. Beekeeping and honey. Bible count number one. We have the Game of Thrones book that I gave to my dad because I never thought I would read it. You can see how far into Game of Thrones I got. This is something I think my sister got him for Christmas, which is Dads Are the Original Hipsters. Bible count number two. I don't know what this is. We're not gonna count that. Um, we have Chuck Yeager book. Chuck Yeager is like my dad's hero. Bible count number three. We have these like old mass market paperback set of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit of which the two towers is missing so there's fellowship and returns of king so i have like a copy of a newer mass market paperback of the two towers and the hobbit that don't fit in this set so i need to find him the other one the deer slayer brief history of time some science rating in this pile we have trails of chattanooga backpackers handbook and the well-fed backpacker. Clearly my dad knows what's important. He's been doing a lot of backpacking lately, so that makes sense. And then we'll just go down on the shelf, but first note, Bible count number three? Are we on three? No, this is Bible count number four. I don't know if I count them all on the other shelf, but Bible count number four. We have a lot of some of my dad's chemistry texts from college. So there is organic chemistry, and an analysis book. I don't what does he have a Billy Joel piano book? No idea we owned that. No idea. Learn new things every day. 
Here's another polymer book because that's what he focused on. Bible count number five, um, Johnny Cash Forever Words, which I actually got him for Christmas a couple years ago. And here we have some more polymer chemistry, some more science books. We have some Tom Clancy, Have You Met a Man Over the Age of 35 that does not own a Tom Clancy book. Um, this is a John Stewart book, I believe. America, which I think I have this one too. I got it from McKay's. And um, we have the great comic book Heroes, which I'm not going to pull out because it looks very fragile. This is a concordance of the Bible, but we're going to go ahead and do Bible count number six. There's the food lab, which is the science of food. And I'm not going to pull it out because it's huge, but I got this for my dad last Christmas. We have um, a copy of A Christmas Story, which is my family's favorite Christmas movie. C.S. Lewis, Mere Christianity, which I've tried to read so many times. It's so dense. I cannot get through it. Tom Clancy, Tom Clancy, Jimmy Carter. I think we own almost all of Jimmy Carter's books. We're huge Jimmy Carter stands. And another copy of My Utmost for His Highest. We have two. So I don't know what that means for the Bible count. More. Tom Clancy, Colin Powell, Tom Clancy. We have two um, scuba diving books. This is like a how to tie fancy knots book that I think he got for us when we were kids, but dad ended up using it more than we did. Oh, this is a beautiful copy of Where the Red Fern Crows. I did not realize we had this. I might steal that, but I haven't read that book since I was a kid and bawled my eyes out. My dad is a huge Thomas Jefferson stan, which, you know, <clears throat> problematic faves. Tom Clancy, some more weird economics books, Tom Clancy, um, 100 important Bible verses for men, because you know the Bible verse, Bibles are gendered. <laughs> you might be a redneck if this used to be in our bathroom, and I would read it as a kid. And it's just, just so funny. So funny. And then down here, we mostly have more textbooks, some Fortran <laughs> programming manuals, more chemistry books, a bunch of yearbooks, and here we go on the Bible count. We were at what? Six? Five? Yeah, so we're at seven, eight. Tennessee Blue Book. Always great. <clears throat> Brene Brown's Daring Greatly, which I got to gave to my mom a couple years ago for Christmas. And then we have a baseball encyclopedia and more yearbooks. All right, well, I hope y'all had a good time. Thanks for hanging out with me for this video. Really appreciate y'all.